Okay, Mikael, as you know, you've got 15 minutes to present, and I'll time you, and I'll tell you when there are like a few minutes to, to finish. Um, after your presentation, you'll have a seat, and we'll ask you some questions. You can start now. Uh, good afternoon, audience. Uh, my name is Mikael Rifo, and today I'm going to present about the possible impact of collaborative learning on brain activities in an EFL class. Uh, to start, I'm going to provide you the context. Uh, this study took place at Uni Universidad Santo Tomas in an English Basic 2 course, uh, which was composed by 22 students that were adult learners, and they came from different programs such as medicine, law, psychology, among other, and it lasted 14 weeks. Uh, regarding the research problem, the situated background, uh, it was observed that the class was teacher-centered, uh, the teacher was always uh, speaking and students were uh, not participating at all, at all. They didn't have an active job. Uh, also, the teacher always asked ask them to work in the, with the course book, uh, do activities from the course books, and uh, those activities were done individually. Uh, and the answers for those activities uh, were among one to two words, not more. So it was observed that the writing skill was not the main focus of the class. And according to Mina Duk, uh, students are very prepared to write texts that are not excessively long. This was taken from Bases Curriculares de Septimo Básico a Segundo Medio. And since here in Chile, uh, to enter university, everyone has to finish uh, secondary education. Then uh, students from university are supposed to write a text, uh, which is was, which was not observed in this case. And Tannerman says that uh, you can build knowledge for interaction, which is why we, it was chosen collaborative learning. And Bolandri states that students can help each other when learning collaboratively. They can provide uh, ideas, share knowledge, and learn from each other too. And Harmer states uh, that uh, writing in, group, in groups can engage students so they can participate even more since they didn't have an active role. Uh, the general objective of this study was to determine the possible influence that collaborative learning may produce on <coughs> writing activities. To fulfill that objective, we have those specific objectives, which are to implement writing activities based on collaborative learning, and then to describe the possible impact of collaborative learning on writing activities. The main assumption was uh, that with the implementation of uh, Writing activities based on collaborative learning will increase students' writing production, as they will be provided with the opportunity to write. Uh, the theoretical framework, we have the concept of collaborative learning. According to La Ala Muhammad, uh, this concept refers to students work together to achieve an objective. And in this uh, case, it is understood as students working in groups where they interact with each other and rely on their partners to achieve a specific goal. And then the writing activities. Uh, Harmer states that it is a writing production that gives students the opportunity to think about the language and provide them with a chance to choose what words they can use. And in this case, reading production observed through different tasks that promotes students' thinking. In methodology, um, this paradigm uh, follows a critical paradigm and Cohen, Manning, and Morrison states that a critical paradigm changes the specific situation. Uh, in this case, making students be able to write at the end of the application of the study. The, it has a qualitative approach, and Hernández Fernández Amaptista states that the qualitative approach is based on non and collection of the non numeric data and the interpretation of the results, since we have field notes that are qualitative instruments and interviews. And the design, it was chosen the actual research design by Burns. Um, it contains four stages, which are planning, action, observation, and reflection stage. For the planning stage, we have the interviews that um, were applied to all students, and we have the field notes to uh, observe and identify the problem, because in the planning stage is where you identify the problem and uh, prepare a direction plan which is the lesson plan. The action stage is the actual application of the, the, the action plan, which is the lesson plan. And then the observation stage, we used uh, field notes to observe the impact of the action plan. 
Then for the reflection stage, we use a triangulation matrix because in the re uh, reflection stage, you observe and you uh, try to find out if uh, the action plan needs improvements. Uh, regarding the participants in the scenario, as it was previously mentioned at Univers Universidad Santo Tomas, in a course of 22 other learners from different areas, and it was each Wednesday from 9.30 to 10.50, and it was a big classroom. So in that way, uh, students could work collaboratively without any problems. Regarding the instruments, uh, we used interviews uh, to each student, and James Zick states that um, it creates a space for communication and the construction of meanings. This interview was composed by a question related to how students felt when working collaboratively, if they liked it or not, among others. And the field notes, according to Hernández Fernández Baptista, they are used to record and describe social interaction and others by taking down notes, since we use them to identify the problem, uh, gathering the information, and then to uh, gather the information regarding the impact or the influence or of our action plan. Then we have lesson plans that show <coughs> that show that what will be done in the class and what will ac will be accomplished. Uh, the lesson plans were based on writing activities uh, using collaborative learning. So at the end, students uh, were supposed to uh, uh, produce in Britain something in English. The data analysis techniques uh, we use a categorization matrix for the field notes. And given states that a qualitative data must be made by categorization, which means grouping in subcategories some parts in data. We use a, a matrix similar from this one. And then we have a similar matrix, but it, it is an open coding matrix for the interviews. Uh, this matrix it is useful to present the data and phenomena as concepts by segmenting them in order to attach annotation and codes as established according to what Flex said. Then, to, the anal to analyze both matrices, we use the triangulation matrix. And according to Hernández Fernando Mapista, triangulation matrix will show a comparison between both matrices, which provide a final assumption that will lead the researcher to an entire understanding. So in here, we, mix, we sort of mix both matrices, and we end up with a final conclusion. Regarding just worthiness, uh, Schrant, a study in Global Lincoln, states that for critical intelligence, this concept refers to the capacity of engaging more critique. As the tutor teacher was focusing on other abilities rather than writing, uh, it was implemented by the activities. And for social justice, uh, Global Lincoln states that the researcher oversees guaranteeing that all participants <coughs> are considered. This is covered by the use of the interviews since they were applied to each student. Regarding crystallization, crystallization without losing the structure deconstructs the traditional idea of validity. And crystallization provides us a deep and complex theory partial understanding of the topic, as stated by research Richardson. Um, in this case, since we want to we wanted to observe the possible impact, it is not granted that it, there was a possible impact. So the assumptions may vary. And for social action, this term can be represented in different ways, from the feeling of fair practices to the change of a society, which means the change itself, making students be able to uh, write at the end of the term, since the, at the very beginning, they were never able to write a text. Regarding the findings, uh, this is the matrix that we used for the <laughs> analysis of the Field notes. We have the main category, which has four uh, titles, then the data that supports that subcategory, and then uh, a subcategory, which is based on the data, and a code which is uh, created uh, with the subcategory. Then the analysis of the interviews with the open coding matrix, similar to the uh, categorization matrix a category that emerged during the interviews and with the data supporting the uh, categories and an open code that is based on the data gathered and then a code provided to the rest of the uh, of the matrix. 
findings. Uh, from the triangula triangulation, um, we could say that um, it was observed that students, uh, when it was applied the lesson plan, they could work uh, actively and they, as they were working collaboratively. And as the students were used to work individually, at the moment that they had to work in groups, it, it wasn't a problem to find a partner or a group. And uh, in this part, uh, the students had to create a dialogue with at least six interactions. So uh, it was observed that each group finished the activity without any problem. So in that way, the assumption is slightly fulfilled. But why slightly? Because of the limitations, oh, the limitations or the threats to validity. Uh, one of the limitations was the lack of time. Since uh, we could apply just one lesson plan, it, we were supposed to uh, be applying uh, three of them, and we just could apply one. And for the threats to validity, uh, 16 out of 22 students uh, signed the content informed letter, but then when they uh, had to participate uh, in the interview, just nine of them wanted to uh, participate. The rest of them leave, left the classroom because they didn't. They were they wasn't. They uh, were interested on participating. Regarding the contributions, uh, it, it can be said that collaborative learning breaks down psychological barriers and allows students to socialize since they interact among each other and share uh, experiences. Which is why collaborative learning should be considered in all contexts for writing tasks. This is because um, from all the sources that were uh, read, um, none of them was specifically about adult uh, context. All of them were collaborative learning on writing tasks for, for um, young learner, for uh, secondary education, but none of them talked about adult context. And for future research, um, other studies may apply it with more time. They should apply it with the three lesson plans that were planned at the beginning. So in that way, they will have an, a wide or a clear uh, conclusion or result. Regarding the metacognitive analysis, uh, the teacher researcher's role, uh, I believe that the teacher or the researcher is half in charge of what happens inside the classroom, which means that uh, the teacher provides, the teacher or the researcher provides the tools make students feel motivated or uh, f tries to find a way to make the, the learning development better. And the other 50% it's from students. They need to have the willing to participate or to be um, engaged with the class. Uh, regarding my interesting experience, uh, one of my strengths is that I'm a really creative person so in that way, I'm good at preparing material. Um, it can be a lesson plan or authentic materials like flashcards, among others. But one of the weaknesses is the frustration because I, I get really frustrated when sometimes I, I'm not able to apply what I prepared because it happened to me that during my internship, I wasn't allowed to do that. So I, I got really frustrated. And one of, the, my, the, of my challenges is to internalize real world, which means that um, be prepared to uh, the near future because uh, I could be working with someone similar to my tutor teacher. So uh, that would affect my, my frustration, would affect my performance. And regarding the research, one of my strengths is Thanks to the previous seminar courses and all the sources that I've read, and thanks to many teachers, I now I think that I'm able to conduct our study properly. And the weaknesses is time management because of the uh, limitations. Uh, then I didn't have enough time to finish my study uh, accurately, and I was doing everything so fast that I wasn't thinking at all. So I wasn't sure if what I was doing was right. And one of the challenges is having a plan B. In case of uh, my plan doesn't work or, or something else happened. And that's it.
Thank you for your attention. Thank you.